This is T Basic Math 1, and I'm just going to sit here and walk you through a few made up examples, and hopefully it helps you on your test. So, first off, uh, we'll start with Bob. Uh, Bob wants a red hat. The red hat costs $40. If Bob has a 10% off coupon, what is the discounted price? Well, first off, we start with the original price, which was 40 bucks. And we know that we're going to lose 10% of that, so one approach is we could subtract what would be 40% of the cost, or 10% of $40, which would look something like this mathematically. And then it would just solve out to be 40 minus 4 equals 36 bucks. Another approach would be to say $40 times 90%, which once again would look mathematically like 40 times 0.9 and that would equal 36 bucks as well. That's just saying I only want to see 90% of it. Great. So let's move on to the next problem. If Mike ate one-third of all the apples and James ate one-half of the amount of Mike, how many apples are there total? Mike ate six. Well, it says in the beginning, as you can see right over here, that Mike ate one-third of all the apples. So therefore, there must be three times as many as Mike ate. So six times three equals 18. Mathematically, we could look at this as six uh, divided by one over one-third, which would, how many times, uh, that's saying 6 is one-third of what? That's what that's saying. Which is 18 again. So, a lot of people just prefer intuition at this point. I don't, I don't blame you. The whole part about James uh, was really redundant, and you just got to pay attention to that because you're going to get a lot of that on the test. Uh, moving on. There are 8 red marbles, 2 green marbles, 7 blue marbles. What's the least number of drawings possible to get three colors? Well, you got three colors, three draws. And the reason that is is because there's three different colors, and what if you got a red, a green, and then a blue right off the bat? You're just the luckiest you could be. So that's the best case scenario. What's the worst case scenario? What's the maximum number of draws, the worst case scenario? What if you got all of the reds and all of the blues? Because notice how they're the two highest ones, so all of those plus one green. So, eight plus seven plus one. Well, eight plus seven, that's 15, right? Plus one, that equals 16, 16 draws. And the reason that uh, we picked that is because those red and blue, they were the two uh, highest number. If green was 7, it wouldn't matter, then you could just interchange uh, blue and green. But in this case, blue and red are the highest, so we added those two up plus one green. That's the worst case scenario. So I'm going to just stop here, and uh, I'll pick up on the next page. See you in the next video.